everybody, this is Rick from Botential.com. Today I'm going to explain a little product and a process that we're going to do with Pop Glide products. Uh, this is an anti fouling, fouling release uh, prop, and any type of running gear coating that you put on any of your running gear it would be your struts, your shafts, your props, uh, your propellers, and uh, also your rudders. So anything you want to undercoat, this is a great product to use. Like I said, it's anti-fouling, biodegradable, also uh, environmental friendly, and it saves your gas, and it also has increased prop speed and increased horsepower and speed on your boat when you do coat it with any of your running gear products. So without further ado, this is the, uh, the prop glide stuff. You have your primer base. This is the large kit, so it comes with two primer base uh, canisters there, your top coat canisters, and two hardeners. As you, you can tell, we got all of our supplies here that we need. You need denatured alcohol to wipe everything down, whether it be your props, your shafts, your struts, your uh, rudders, anything you want to do, you got to de denaturize it before you go ahead and put any of your base coat or, or uh, top coat on. Uh, this is a uh, obviously a 27 inch uh, prop, big prop that we just got back from the prop shop. And we have one of our struts that has already been uh, replaced our cutlass bearing in the inside there so we're all set up we got our gloves here we got our uh, paint brushes here cheap paint brushes and mixing uh, canisters there and also popsicle stick to mix and of course your denatured alcohol so we'll get right to it thanks for watching remember boattential.com list and buy and sell any of your boats for free stop paying boat trader to list boats Thanks. Right, so we're taking the denatured alcohol now, we're wiping down the surface. So I have my lint-free cloth here, and we're gonna wipe this down so that all the oils and any type of residue from sanding it down is taken away. Now this is a rudder, so after you wipe those down, you're gonna need to put your, uh, your zincs in because we need to paint around the zinc. And you can either be careful to paint around the zinc or you can tape it off with some blue tape like we've taped off the top side of the rudders here. So we'll show you how that's done after we finish wiping them down. Cut off the excess of the screw for the zinc there on the rudder just so that it would look clean, flush, and it wasn't sticking out like this one here. On the other side of this is sticking out, and I'll show you that. See how that is? So we're going to get that flush. Go ahead and clean it again with a denatured alcohol and mix our primer coat and All start right, coating. All right, so it. we're taking our uh, primer base here and you're gonna go ahead and stir it up real good and you're gonna get all the stuff off the bottom with your popsicle stick here. Because there's a bunch of stuff at the bottom that you need to get off and on the sides of the can. So you wanna mix this up really, really good and get all that gunk off the bottom because that's part of your product and you need that. So you do this for about, I'd say, 45 seconds to a minute, get it all scraped off the bottom, and then we'll pour it so we can mix our hardener in. Up all the stuff, again, for about a minute, minute and a half, and we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna pour it in now to the container. Just make sure that all the stuff, you know, this stuff is expensive, and you gotta make it go a long way, especially if you're doing all of your running gear. So go ahead and get everything out that you possibly can out of the uh, canister there, the can. And uh, remember, you're going to apply this on a light coat. So you're not going to you're not going to dress it on uh, like a madman. You're going to go ahead and apply it just lightly, so it is covering all the surface of of your uh, running gear. So I'll mix that up. I'm going to take my entire hardener here, and I'm going to pour it in. And I'm going to mix that up.
And immediately now, I'm gonna go ahead and pour this in and start applying it to my running gear. So, we'll go ahead and we'll start that up right now. What I'm gonna do is obviously, I'm not gonna paint my zinc. I'm gonna go around it, very ever so lightly. And you can use a foam roller. Obviously, you can't use a foam roller if you're uh, going around your zinc. Uh, so you gotta use your brush. This stuff uh, has a working time of eight hours. So yeah, I mean, you don't wanna let it sit. And it has to be applied in at least above 70 degree weather uh, so that it will dry properly. So there it is around the sink. Now I'm gonna go ahead and apply it up and down on the, on the uh, rudder here in an evenly coat. And remember, you're applying this straight to the bare metal. If you stripped it already down, this is, this is your, this is what you're applying to have an anti-fouling agent on your rudders or any part of your running gear. So we'll go ahead and we'll finish this up and we'll show you what it looks like after it's done being completed. Here we got the strut right here and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna apply uh, our first coat. Just remember we just got finished painting our uh, rudders for the top side first coat. Now we're gonna do, we're gonna start with the top because everything's gonna drip down and we're gonna go one way just like this and try to not get, try not to get any inside on the cutlass bearing if you've already installed the cutlass bearing. Uh, be very careful because when you go to put your shaft in, it's gonna be even harder to get that in if you have some dried uh, prop glide in there. So we'll paint this up and we'll show you what she looks like after. We just finished painting. Now the strut has two coats on it of the base primer, the Pro, Pro Glide. Now these rudders have one coat. And remember, you have to have the top coat on here. You have five to 15 minutes to apply the top coat to this. The hardener that's in the base coat it sucks in the top coat and it hardens it and gives it a shine. So this is the base coat and we're about to put on the top coat which is going to adhere and harden with the base coat. Again, this is one coat. I'm about to put on a second coat and, and my partner here is gonna do the top coat on here. Applying the first coat of top coat now to give it that shine. This is actually what's gonna make all the running gear real slick so it moves easily in the water. So we'll apply that now and we'll show you what she looks like when we're done. And I'm gonna apply the second coat to these. All right, so we got two coats on there and it's about eight minutes in and we're starting to apply the top coat now. So after that's done, we'll show you the finished product. Preparing the props that were just brought from Black Dog Marine in Maryland. Uh, just so you know, they still have the stickers on and we're taking the stickers off now. They were just refinished. So we are going to denature alcohol them and then put the base coat on. All right, so we got the props mounted because uh, we need them mounted so we don't have to flip them over. They're mounted here, as you can see, we're between two ladders and we got a, a metal shaft in between and we're gonna go ahead and rotate these and prime them and also finish the top coat on them with the prop glide so we'll start that right now so we're gonna go ahead and as you can see I'm applying the base coat to the prop just wanted to show and show you that I didn't get these props already painted I'm painting them now with the base coat, the prop glide, and then we're gonna put the top coat on them. You make sure you're wearing your gloves because you don't want your oils touching the uh, prop. And we'll show you how it comes out when we're done. Put the last, uh, we put two coats of the primer base on. Now we're finishing up with the top coat. Remember, the top coat needs to be put in between five to 15 minutes after the last coat that you've done, no matter if it's just a single coat you're doing or 
if it's two coats. So we're going to finish this up, and that'll be it. Thanks for watching.